In today's Onshape video, I want to show you how to insert an image into Onshape that you can either reference for proportions or trace. I'm going to go ahead and go into the 2D sketch environment since that's where the image has to be placed. So now that I'm in a sketch, if I come up here to the top, it usually says insert DXF. So that's usually the option up here. So I'm going to change that from DXF to insert image. When I come to insert image, I'll have no image files available. I need to import it into Onshape. So all the way down here at the bottom, I'm going to click on import. I'm going to navigate to wherever my image lives. And then as soon as it's done uploading, it'll be available over here on the side. So as soon as I click on it, it wants me to draw image rectangle. So as you start drawing it, it will proportionally draw that out. I just have no idea how big it is. I have nothing on my screen to try to reference that to. So there's really two different ways to do it. So I'm going to show you the first one here. Okay, so now that I've got my image placed, I'm just going to kind of drag it around somewhere. And I'm going to draw a circle. A circle or a rectangle, both of them are going to be center point. So I'm either going to do a center point circle or I'm going to do a center point rectangle. Well, right now this has kind of a circular shape to it, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to have to do my best guess at where I think the middle is. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. So I think right about there is the middle. And then as I start dragging that out, I'll go ahead and place it. Then I can drag that circle around until it's really kind of encompassing the entire image, and that looks great. So if that wasn't right, keep drawing that circle until you're happy with it. All right, so why did we do that? Because I don't know how big the circle is either. Remember, in Onshape, as soon as you put a dimension on something, if there are no other dimensions on there, then it will scale everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put a dimension on there of 5. And as soon as I do that, it has scaled everything proportionately to that circle that's 5. Yes, I do like to then go ahead and pull that circle over the origin, and then I'll pull that picture over. So now I have something constrained, and then I can start tracing and doing whatever I need to, or at least using this for proportions to try to draw everything else out. Okay, so I said I was going to show you two different ways to do this. Um, the other way is just as quick and easy. Uh, it's just kind of starting backwards. So let me delete everything I've got here. So for this method, I'm going to start with the circle first. So there's my 5-inch circle. I can grab my image tool. It's already uploaded, or imported anyway. So now I'm going to kind of come up here to the corner, and as I drag it, I can drag the image until it's about the size of the circle instead. And same thing, once I place it, I can go ahead and drag it in. Now I can go ahead and dimension that. So those blue lines that are there can get dimensioned. So I can go ahead and put dimension on there. And that's about 5 something or other, so 5.25. And how about 5.3? How about 5.4? So I can keep playing around with that dimension and then pulling my picture until that matches up. So I can put the circle on first with the dimension that I want or my center point rectangle. I can then keep changing the picture until it matches up with the circle. Or I can bring the picture in first, put a circle on it, a rectangle on it, change those dimensions, and it should proportionately change the photo instead. Um, either way, this is how you bring a picture into Onshape. Oh, just in case you were curious, yes, once I go ahead and do something, um, so I'll finish the sketch and extrude. So once I create something, the sketch will disappear. So it's gone. Um, so I don't have to do anything special to make the sketch or to make that image disappear. It was part of the sketch, and once the sketch is consumed, the image turns off too.